Okay, this is our ongoing series, and this is going to discuss about uploading a theme. So let's go right into it. I've created a new site uh, called V2. As you can see, it's got a default theme. You can switch between the Weebly themes here. And I've already uploaded some CTN themes. I'll show you how to do that. It'll be a zip file, maybe email to you, you may download it, you may have the corporate theme on it. So you go to all themes, my custom themes, and here's the custom themes I've already uploaded. So I'll import theme, upload a new one, let's try CTN3, and away it goes in there. So that's it. You keep uploading themes and uh, well you only upload the themes you need so let's select one. And it only allows you to do this once or twice before it locks you out. That's why it doesn't see it show CTN3 there but I'm going to show you simulate what happened is after you upload the theme you select it. Now several things going on here you say well look it what's that up in that corner I don't want that. So we go settings, it says show site title on top of your pages. Well, this theme doesn't use that, so I check that, hit close. Okay, that took that problem, care of that problem. Then we hit edit image, add text, and we can move that so we can see what we're doing there. Uh, highlight it, uh, we'll put WTJR. Hit OK, move it to you want in the spotlight. Yeah, you can change the font. Let's just uh, do this real quick so you showed. Let's try a different one. Okay, changes the font. Hit save. Then you want it to apply to all pages. It said that there. I don't know if you could see that, but it asks you if you want that applied to all pages. So there you go. The theme's been uploaded. We added our name of our website by editing the image and then you can uh, edit pages if you so desire I like putting this is the home page I like putting the title there two column layout and uh, our title disappeared no there it is okay so we type in a title whoops we can't see it what's that mean so we go to settings oh I'm sorry if we go to elements Design, all themes, design options. We're getting there. Just click every button until you hit something. No. <laughs> Site title, paragraph title is white. So let's change it to blue and see what we get. There we go. So now we can see the paragraph titles and we can have a title in front of our page if we had multiple pages. And from this point, you can go ahead and abstract pages. But that's how you import a theme that's already been created. And then you're allowed to uh, change the, the paragraph title. And then I took the site title out, as you saw on the other page, because I didn't want the site title up in the corner of every page. Now, some themes use that, but this theme doesn't. Well, that's the head and tails of importing the theme. You can download the CSS of the theme. Oh, wait, we're talking about CSS. Let's go back to that. Inside there... This is what I meant by downloading the CSS. That's where, and the pictures are here. That's all embedded in that theme, which is a zip file. So you can upload that and can get ready to match your corporate site. God bless you.